Welcome back. This is my friend Sid. Hello. Sydney. Hi. She um, is visiting right now. She lives on the other end of Florida in the Daytona area. Um, I went car camping with her, or I didn't. I visited her last year and I stayed in my car and I did a little video on that on YouTube. But now she's visiting me and she's staying in the van. And so I haven't really been using the van much because she's been staying in it. And also it's been a little crazy. The brakes were no longer working. It was metal on metal and um, I needed an oil change and just a bunch of things that were not going well with the van. So I didn't feel comfortable driving around and camping with it if it just wasn't in the best shape, even though it's old and probably will never be in the best shape. But yeah, so. Since you're visiting, we don't know what we're doing today, but I feel like I should catch you up on what has happened in regards to all of those things. Um, but first, we're gonna go and wash this car because it's dirty and needs to be cleaned. Yes. Okay. About to catch another flight. cleaned up now I did go and get an oil change yesterday and so that's good except they were really looking very concerned when they did my oil change there was like four or five of these guys working on my oil change and somehow that makes me think something's wrong <laughs> everything was fine uh, so you're a drink I don't think he told you. I that. heard the. Yeah, the drain plug is having some issues. We got it back in this time, but the next time may or may not go back in. Oil pan. Yeah. You either want to get a new oil pan or you're going to want to get the, the threads for the oil, the oil drain plug. They pulled, when it came out, it came out with the threads from the oil pan. It's just that over time, taking the drain plug in and out, in and out, the threads will start to come out when you do that. I'm pretty sure they just screwed up the threads of my oil pan and now I have to deal with that so that's great and then I think that they messed with the battery lines a little bit because yesterday the car just died in the middle of traffic and then I had to put it in neutral and start it again and it started right up so I think that the they did something because they had a drill and they were drilling in the front end of the car for what reason I don't know so it wasn't <laughs> it was a really not the best experience but I got my oil change so that's that <laughs> Dude. What the actual oh my god. What? That's so cute. <laughs> Look what I scored. A battery powered fan, which I really have been needing, <laughs> and a plastic mug that says the Home Depot. <laughs> so Cute. Is 
are serious batteries. I've yeah. never used. I hope, I hope for the simple fact of how scary these batteries look that this bitch blasts. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Wait, ready? Oh Keep my god, it's got a high speed. That's amazing. Wow, what a score. I'm so glad we stopped there. My oh, shoot. My name is Adrian Butterworth. Good night. Uh, great. Nice to meet you. <laughs> What? I swear, what I the know, hell? Scared, by the way. Maybe scared away when you turn your phone down. <sighs> People love stopping People love you. to talk. They just come right up to my window. Oh my God, this is a crazy story. So yesterday I went to Home Depot and when I was leaving Home Depot, I was with Karina, my brother's girlfriend. And I get to my car and this man comes up to my window and asks me if I want his money and I was like what I was so kind of scared and concerned because he had his hand in his pocket and he came up to the window just so weird and I was like sure <laughs> and he literally opened up his wallet and emptied out all the cash that he had and gave it to me you can have it all wait what what, Come on, just what? 20, 40, 60. wait why what why, why are you what? doing that? Seven. Here, what can I do? Do you want a can of stain? No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you. Isn't that a nice thing to start the new year right? And yeah. Yeah. I, I just want to make people happy. Just do something nice and kind for somebody. Oh my gosh. We absolutely will. You will? Yeah. 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 Now, wasn't that worth coming in today? Yes. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah thank you. Why? I don't know. Somewhere. People really like to approach me. Yeah. Does that happen to you? No. It happens to me every day. No one wants to talk to me. Because I always look mad. <laughs> <laughs> I go about my day like this. <laughs> no one knows if they can approach you. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm like, I'm not approachable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, to the tiki bar. To the tiki bar. <laughs> so my brakes have been taken care of my brother god bless him you all know if you've been watching my videos that he just is an angel and can literally do everything and is just a godsend to my life and like my best friend and just incredible <laughs> so he fixed my brakes a couple days ago and now i have no braking issues that sounds good <sighs> all right This looks terrible. Yeah, <clears throat> that is terrible. It's really pretty simple to do. Probably won't take very long. Okay. Especially because I'm gonna use minimal effort and care. What? <gasps> These are my brakes. And do this as <clears throat> quickly as humanly possible. Too good. Whoa. They're such small brakes. They look like they're off a freaking four wheeler. This one's like not too. No, it's not. But this is just. Yeah, it must have been seized. No. Very nice. The front brakes were replaced like months ago, not, not very long ago. So those are good. We just had to buy these ones. We were just talking to our neighbor and uh, he has a Honda Odyssey as well. 1990, you said? 90, I think. Yeah, 90. And it had 300,000 miles on it. This van, 2002, has um, like 200, 
200, 220 miles, 330 kilometers, 330,000 kilometers, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so these things just last for forever. Done, son. Literally took us, how long did that take us? I don't know. 20 minutes maybe? <laughs> and like, if you would have went to a shop, they would have charged you like a few hundred bucks, right? Mm-hmm. Probably. Because it's like a flat rate typically. So that's kind of the update of what has been kind of going on lately. Um, and if you've been subscribed to me for a while, then maybe you've noticed that I'm posting every two weeks, which is so weird for me because I thought for sure coming to Florida, not being in the cold of Canada, that I would have more options and more things to do outside and I could post more because I have time. Um, but it just hasn't worked out like that. And I think because the van just hasn't been in the best shape, I've been a little worried about it, worried about driving it around, not wanting to go too far because of that. And um, also Florida is really hard to car camp in and I'm the type of person that really likes to be secluded and in the forest and I don't know I just haven't really found that or I haven't felt comfortable to find that because of the van as well so it's been this weird thing and then also I feel like if I'm not doing a project or I'm not doing something in the van then people aren't going to want to watch videos that I post that are like unrelated to that. I'm not sure. So it's just a weird thing in my brain. And so I felt more comfortable posting every two weeks or so because yeah. And, um, if there's anything that you want to see that you like to see me post, then let me know in the comments. I would love that. And I think pretty much I'm going to leave you here until next time. I'm not sure what we're going to get up to next time, but I would love if you came back to see and um, yeah, I'll see you then. Okay. Bye.